cool chill girl says things like i'm down whatever cool chill girl goes with the flow down for anything doesn't really mind things that are inconveniencing cool chill girl is easy to take out on dates because she will eat whatever she's like yeah i eat burgers i'm not a vegan that's not real climate change isn't real i'm not worried about stuff what is there to worry about? Cool chill girl is like an actress. Nobody knows where she gets her money. She's like a morning person and a night person. Doesn't ever seem to be tired. And she's totally fine with just getting coffee from Starbucks. She definitely doesn't have like a specific pillow that she will have a heart attack if somebody else even touches or like wash it if Craig accidentally falls asleep on it again. As a not cool chill girl, I overthink everything. There's a lot of things that I don't like. There's a few things that make me really excited and I get also equally weird about those things. There's a lot of things that I don't want you to touch, including my body and me and my hair. Don't touch me. You know what though is like a good trick. If somebody tries to hug you and you're like, oh, I've known you for a while. It's like about the appropriate amount of time for us to be hugging. I can't get away from this. They're coming in for the hug. They, they're they like hugging everybody goodbye if I like do something weird. Like I'm the only one I'm gonna stand out. Okay, this is all happening in my brain in like super rapid like Spider-Man speed too, by the way. I don't know, does Spider-Man have super speed? I don't think he does. And so then you just go for the side hug. The side hug is like very non-committal. It's like my shoulders sort of like walking you from our bodies being pressed on each other. I'm like kind of hugging you and then this arm goes here um if you're watching this and i've given you one of those hugs it actually means that i'm like cool enough with you to like even do that hug which is like a pretty big deal congratulations because i don't feel too bad about just being like bye with a wave and then just sort of like backing away or like making it seem like i have to go to the bathroom this is turning into more of a thing about hugs but i'm this seems important i need to say it if you just never hug anybody then people are just like oh she doesn't like hug but if you only hug one person that's also okay because you're like this is the chosen one that's like okay for hugs and the rest of you are not but if you start to get into this like half hug half not hug place i think it can be confusing for everyone and yourself included you're like touching too many bodies in a day and it's gonna be really hard to like come back from that when did we all just decide that we were just gonna start hugging like when did we do this i really took a huge step by just starting to shake hands instead of wave if i just stand with my arms crossed then i don't have to shake your hand because i'm actively crossing my arms i'm doing something but you can be like hey i know this seems rude and distant and it might be but we're talking about weird people not cool chill girl who is like hugging everybody she may even hold you in an embrace and i'm not gonna lie sometimes it feels nice one of these girls gives me a hug and i can tell she's needing it and i'm allowing it to happen it's nice to know that she feels so comfortable with me to do that so i like to give that to her it kind of makes me want to cry i'm not a cool chill girl okay i need a wall once you open up i feel very exposed and sometimes it ends up being cool but other times it ends up being like i think i need to move or just quit this job i can't go back wish i didn't open up so much and we're gonna have this weird like bonding experience where it's almost like we're friends wow you know all this information about me and like i kind of i'm not really feeling as like open today i just want to be the cool chill girl who's not afraid of surfing who doesn't mind getting her ears wet is good at running knows what to wear to a funeral if she gets a bad haircut she'll say something like it'll grow if i get a bad haircut i'm devastated and it's not out of vanity it's just out of like weird hyper fixation and also vanity cool chill girl isn't gonna get upset when her boyfriend uses her favorite fork greg knows it's my favorite fork now he almost used it to touch raw chicken the other day and i was like <gasps> and he stopped thank god otherwise i'd have to find a new fork it's the only fork i like that we have it's different than the others if you're out there and you're a cool chill girl 
I don't know if you were born with this ability to just be like go with the flow easy does it because I try really hard to be that way and it seems like if I am that way for like a couple of days I have like a horrible whiplash where the real me ribs out of my skin suit and says we need to be even weirder for like a week now to make up for how like relaxed you've been we need to undo all the damage you've done to like our rules of stuff i might ask a lot of questions but i promise you i have more that i'm holding in i want to understand what's going on and it's not happening they were implementing some new stuff to the bar which is like not a big deal and it happens all the time but of course i'm starting to panic i'm like oh god knew it just be cool, be cool, it's probably fine, it's probably nothing. So they were talking about it, I don't even remember what they're implement implementing. I asked like 10 questions, like rapid fire, and I could just see him being like, Whoa. I had no idea that this girl that was hired, probably just for her looks alone, was actually a psychopath. <laughs> I've got news for you. I am not a psychopath, I, there's just a lot of details. I'm detail oriented. I have a lot going on in my brain. Most of it's useless. I'd really love to hear about some of your weird shit that you do that's like not very cool and chill. I can't be the only one.